Hello everyone, this is Potter Brony, and welcome to another live action of My Little Pony Friends vs. Magic Season 7, Episode 7, Parental Glidance. Okay, now this, I'm assuming, is the episode that I've been looking forward to. It is the episode where we finally get to re meet Rainbow Dash's parents. Uh, as spoiled to me by Dusty Cat's tweet. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know the context of it. I'm assuming that it's this episode because of the title and then parental and the fact that Rainbow Dash is the character featured on the uh, post for where I found it in Aquasia Daily. So I'm thinking we're going to meet Beanie and her parents like uh, like I've been st stated before. This is one that I've actually been looking forward to for seven seasons, right? Seven seasons? Really? Finally get to meet them? Fluttershy's after six seasons, Rainbow Dash is after seven, and hell, we saw Twilight's parents in season one, didn't really get to meet them until, uh, until season six, to be perfectly honest. Saw them every now and then, but didn't get a feel for what they're like, and that was only a quick moment, so... Uh, hopefully we go more in depth with these particular characters, see where, see what type of parents they are. Like I said, I don't know what's going to be happening. I managed to avoid synopsis, those types of spoilers. I just know that it's going to be her parents in this one. I assume. If I'm wrong, then they poorly named this one, didn't they? Alright, so, let's just get it started, see what they have in store for us this time. Oh, and Funhouse, you need to stop releasing these early. Uh, I'm recording this like two weeks before I'm going to post it because I want to avoid even more spoilers. God knows that shit's going to come out and, sorry, excuse my language, but images are going to come out and I can't stay off, I can't stay off of online for two weeks, so. Okay, well, let's get started, like I said, in three, two, one, and go. All right, got the CMC. Is this such a good idea? What are you talking about? This is the best idea I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a very good idea. I see no, no problems that can come from this. Non-Pegasus ponies fall through the clouds. Right, but I think we're good. We are. I know you have to go to Cloudsdale to finish your report. I'm just wondering if this is the best way to get there. It'll be fine. Besides, how else could I get there? A Pegasus chariot? A flock of birds? A hot air balloon? Huh. Those do seem a lot safer. Maybe I should try to find another... <laughs> Hey, man. The little ma'am, are you all right? <gasps> that her father. You're, you're Rainbow Dash's dad! Uh, yes, Bo Hothoof at your service. Uh... Oh, Jim. Dad? Hi, I was just uh, looking at the old family's portrait out here. Well, that was a fun day, wasn't it? Jim, I want to talk about masturbation. And we're back to this poor man listening. Uh, honey, something's going on out here. And that's her mom. <laughs> Rainbow Dash looks like her mom. <laughs> Heavens, it's What's wrong with her? I don't know, but you just made it worse. Sorry, it's just your Rainbow Dash's parents! Ah! He's doing it again! Who is this kid? Oh, dear, please! You might shatter my Princess Celestia commemorative plates! Ow! I'm so sorry. I just... I can't no, believe I'm please. meeting you. Enough. My name's Scootaloo, and I'm doing a school report on your daughter. 
Our Rainbow Dash? The report's on an inspirational pony in my life, and no pony inspires me more than she does. I'm putting together this scrapbook for my report. I'm her biggest fan! The uh, little trotter, what you say is impossible. Because no pony is a bigger fan of our Rainbow Dash than us! Whoa! Oh, you those types of things. wear that shirt? <laughs> Actually, it's uh, laundry day, but pretty great, right? Yeah! My name's Wendy Whistles, and I just have to say that it is a total blast to meet some pony that loves Rainbow Dash as much as we do. What can we help you with? Well, I know all about Rainbow Dash's time in Ponyville, but I don't know anything about her life before that. Well, you came to the right place. <gasps> Here you go, Rainbow Dash's favorite meal. A pasta and potato sandwich on sourdough. She just loved to carbo load. <laughs> I can't believe yeah, I'm eating Rainbow Dash's that favorite is food carbo -loaded. made by Rainbow Dash's mom while sitting in Rainbow Dash's childhood kitchen. This is All the right, this, uh, day of hero my worship life. thing. All right, settle down. Oh, oh. I think it's time for a tour of the house. Okay. Our little Dashie was an early learner, and so rambunctious. The combination was... Exciting! Yeah, I'll bet. Whoa. Her old bedroom. Her room? Yeah, they knew. Dash's linen closet. Her carpet. I'm surprised they let this little kid in here. Poster. When the going gets tough, the tough don't notice because they have hard shells. That's so Rainbow Dash. Well, why would she, her childhood bedroom have a tortoise picture? She didn't like tortoises before Tank. Want to see something really cool? Thought they were. Well, thought Tank was creepy. You know, all right. I'm saying I'm gonna say this now. I don't think it is. This is a Rainbow Dash shrine. I uh, installed the sound effects myself. <laughs> nice. Pretty great, huh? So great. And look at all right, this. Who's doing this guy's voice? She was wearing it when she spoke her first words. So cool. And this I don't want to say it, but there are moments where he fly. actually sounds like William Shatner, and I know he's going to be in the season. And apples from when she grew her first tooth. <gasps> so many memories. But, uh, You're so lucky to have Then there are moments where he doesn't sound like Well, him. I may have a ton of Dash Mentos, but I don't have any of those Rainbow Dash Saves Ponyville headlines like you. <gasps> Tradesies? Dealsies! So, where's all the Wonderbolt stuff? You mean Rainbow Dash's personal collection of Wonderbolt memorabilia? No, I mean, where's all the stuff about Rainbow Dash getting accepted into the Wonderbolt Academy and then getting chosen as a Wonderbolt? But they didn't know that? But you don't know that your daughter's a Wonderbolt? Um. And I got to tell you? <sighs> Why didn't Rainbow Dash tell them? What is going on right here? Now. See, that's what your faces look like. Our daughter's a wonderful. Great timing. Great door. I just... it's... unbelievable! You two were kind enough to show me the Rainbow Dash you know. Now please, allow there me must to be a reason she didn't Rainbow tell Dash them. I know. You'd think she would have told them, though. I, I, I don't get that. Let's make some thunder! I was born to make thunder!
that may be why. Okay, which pony broke protocol and invited guests to our training exercises? I guess they're with me. Ugh. Mom, Dad, so good to see you. Oh, honey, it's so great to see you too. And wow, you were so amazing up there with all of that flying. Uh, how did you know I was here? Scootaloo filled us in on everything. You modest pony, you. <sighs> I can't believe yeah, good job, I'm documenting the moment your parents first saw you as a Wonderbolt. And these must be your Wonderbolt friends. <laughs> Hello, team. I'm Windy Whistles, the mom of the best Wonderbolt ever. Yeah! Just kidding. You guys were great, too. Go team! Mom! <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And love those goggles. Love them. You know, I have goggles, too. But they're mostly just for swimming. Oh, at bath time. Goggles oh, for bath time. Please. Okay. I don't want to hear about your bath time. I can't believe it. My daughter, a wonderful. <laughs> so proud. Dad, hold it together. We're in public. I know, I know. It, but it's just, you had a goal and you achieved it. <laughs> well, see, now it doesn't sound like it. All right, Wonderbolts. Maybe I was just hearing things and I wanted him to play. Okay, yeah. Remember that was dad. I guess I'll find out with the credits. Catch up with you guys in a minute. Sir, you really raised a great flyer. Oh no. Tears there it goes. Welling up again. Dad. <laughs> Could you give us a sec? Why did you do Is that? Is something wrong? Yeah. You should have warned me that you were bringing my parents or talked to Twilight or something, not just shown up. Why? It's just my parents and I have a delicate relationship. I love them very much and we're really close, but there's a reason I didn't tell them I'm a Wonderbolt. They can be a little bit embarrassing. Huh? Really? A little bit. Yeah, really. And now you've invited a whole lot of crazy into my life. What's wrong with a little support? Yeah. You're gonna bitch about parents? Um, Wendy, I'm to an orphan? Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle. Huh? Hello. Not confirmed, of course, but... Small ponies? Are you excited to see Rainbow Dash? Oh my, yes! And to think we never bothered to come to a Wonderbolt event. We said if Rainbow Dash isn't a Wonderbolt, then what's the point? But now she is! And she earned it! Did you know, it all started when she won a spot in the coveted Wonderbolt Academy, training under Spitfire. Oh, I didn't know that. How wonderful. But then, she had some heavy competition, especially against another Pegasus named Lightning Dust. Oh, no. But of course, Rainbow Recap. Dash proved to be the best and later made it into the Wonderbolt Reserves. Hooray again. But... Jealous ex wonder Emotions all Wind over the Rider place. was worried that Rainbow Dash might break his speed record, and so he framed her for a crime she didn't commit. Oh no! But thanks to Rarity, Rainbow Dash proved her innocence and became a backup Wonderful. Until Fire Streak retired, and she became Why'd an official Wonderful. put an X through this picture? Hooray! I know he retired. Wow. But... What a gripping tale. It's a roller coaster you really emotions. know your Rainbow Dash history. You're going to do great on your report. Show's about to start. <laughs> Come on, Bolts! Let's start this thing! Wonderbolt Frank Showcase! Here we go! Rip it up and tear it down! Then build it back up again and tear it back down again! Yeah! Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I can see that. Go, Rainbow Dash! Best Wonderbolt ever! Woohoo! 
That's my daughter! Go, Rainbow! Go, Dashi! Go, 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 go! Nice imagery that they're pulling off. Your folks were definitely loud, but they weren't that bad. Yeah, until Whoa, they start doing that. Since when did we add fireworks to the show? Uh, we didn't. Oh, the Those impressive fireworks. Yeah. Go, Rainbow Dash! You Simon Pluto! Woo! Cut the ribbon! Cut the ribbon! Cut the ribbon! Cut the ribbon! Cut the ribbon. Cut the ribbon. Oh. The camera loves you, yeah! Now let's do the pyramid. Scootaloo, get up there. Why get are the, top. the parents you really do the got base. yourself your very own mega fans? Lucky you. Yeah, Spitfire knows what's up. Greatest towel hanger of all time! All right, now you're just towel pushing up, it. Towel up, 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 towel up. Stop! This is ridiculous. Mom and Dad, you are both too supportive. This is exactly why I didn't tell you I was a Wonderbolt. You're just too much. Did did we do something wrong? Yes. The fireworks, the cheerleading, and and how do you even compare? Who is better or worse at hanging off a towel? We're just trying to be supportive. Well, I'm tired of it. I've had enough of you two being so proud of every little ridiculous, insignificant thing I do. <sighs> I think you should leave. First of all, great job yelling at us, sweetie. No one can make their parents feel more worthless. You. Wow. Your words were direct, clear, and so painful. Is there nothing you can't do? <laughs> Why? Scootaloo, you don't understand. I met your parents hoping to learn more about you, but I don't like what I found out. I'll find some pony else to oh, do my crap. hero report on. Yeah, that's. I know I wasn't up. myself back there, and I shouldn't have snapped at my parents. That's exactly why I didn't tell them I'm a Wonderbolt. I don't understand. They're so proud of you. <sighs> Can I tell you something? Sure. Okay, but you might want to hold on to your wings because this could rock you to your very core. Oh. Believe it or not, there was a time when I wasn't. The best at everything. <gasps> no. See this picture? It looks like I want something awesome, but actually. And last but not least, it's time to hand out our participant stickers. Yeah! Greatest participant ever! Uh, Derpy's in first. Parents realize you didn't win, don't they? Granted, I was the youngest pony in the senior competitive circuit. Most other ponies my age were still in the junior flappers club. I thought it was utterly mortifying having my parents cheer me on even when I lost. But then, when I started to win competitions, which didn't take very long, by the way, things got even worse. Is that lightning dust? They knew each other as Phillies? Being the best came with consequences. Very loud, very embarrassing and other, consequences. And those were other Wonderbolts, too. You know, some ponies would dream of having parents like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, like, they won. Me. Grow 
growing up, I never thought I'd be the best at anything because no pony ever told me. But your parents told you over and over again. Wow. Look, best bath taker ever, best carrot eater under three, greatest napper of all time. Yeah, but that could backfire I am too. I'm good at napping. I can fall asleep anywhere. <sighs> yeah. For your entire life, your parents gave you the confidence to believe in yourself. Here, she still hasn't You're said that right. she ha doesn't have parents. I was always so embarrassed by my parents. All we know for sure now is that their Scooby's parents are not supportive. Awesome, confident, amazing, awesome, and awesome pony I am. Oh, and I took them for granted. And you yelled at them. Oh. I gotta make this right. Yeah, I can see how that would be a personal I'm issue you, at school. But I'm gonna need your help. That is, if you're willing to help me after I acted like that. Now that's a great picture. Rainbow Dash learns the error of her ways. I'm telling you, I just can't see a thing. Scootaloo, you are just so great at blindfolds. It's true. You must tell me what kind of knot you used. A uh, falconer's knot? Wait, no! A farmer's loop. What's this all about, anywho? Wendy Whistles and Bo Hotter. Please be seated for a super private, wonderful event. Mom and Dad, welcome to the... I love my parents and I'm sorry that I took them for granted and I know that they made me who I am today, so I really want to make it up to them. Event. Is it a working title? Enjoy. Thanks for doing this. Happy to help. That's interesting. Mom and Dad, I want you to know that I'm your biggest fan. Oh, honey, thank you. But you didn't have to do all this. It's kind of embarrassing. It is a bit much. And that's loops around. Why Rainbow Dash is the most inspirational pony in my life. Thank you, Scootaloo. Very well researched, but a little heavy on the pictures, and there was a moldy sandwich in your report. <laughs> I'll give you a B. Yeah! Good enough. Greatest report giver of all time! Scootaloo! 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 Interesting. I'll talk about that. Uh, hang on. Going back to. I have to pause it on this thing just to. All right. No, I was. I was just hearing things. It was wishful thinking. Uh, Jason Deline as Bo Hotloaf. All right, never mind. Yeah, it sounded like him first, and then it didn't, and then it didn't. This is just, it was weird. Um, maybe it was just wishful thinking, because what I wanted was to have William Shatner play her father. That would have been awesome, but... Oh, well. Maybe some other character. I'm not sure what character he's going to be, but that's that'll be down the road. He is confirmed for season seven, yeah, so... All right, uh, over-enthusiastic parents, um, never really experienced that level myself. I just, yeah, I was never Rainbow Dash, so wouldn't know that. Uh, as far as the thing that I really wanted to talk about in this episode was Scootaloo being jealous of Rainbow Dash's of Rainbow Dash and her parents. Uh, 
in the sense that she wishes that she had parents that did that like this is that were like that for her now that's not to say that she doesn't have parents but it doesn't deny the whole orphan possibility or uh, but it doesn't confirm it either uh, they're no, they're, they're, they're walking a razor's edge right now and um, yeah but that just uh, I, I, I could definitely see like I said why it meant so much to her uh, why it was so personal to her that Rainbow Dash is when Rainbow Dash snapped at her parents like that why it would have upset Scootaloo because she if she does have parents they're not like those parents and if she does and if she doesn't, then it's, yeah, she doesn't. Uh, so. Interesting, interesting episode. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I have really nothing else to say on that one. And I'm going to end this one here. Until next time, take care.